everyone, this is Kalies from Kreatives Leben and today I wanted to do a slightly different uh, video for you. Uh, it's outside and I would like to do a zine. So stay tuned. So before I start, I also wanted to show you what I brought with me because as you can imagine, uh, working outside in, in nature means you have to organize yourself. While I am in my studio, I usually am, um, you know, if I forget something, I just get up and I just get it, grab it. But when you're in nature, you really have to think twice and make sure that you have everything you need with you. And that's one of the reasons I decided to do some watercolors because I felt that um, I really love the freedom of watercolors, especially when I'm outside. I love... Um, that you have so many color choices with you and you can just, you know, uh, mix or, or take it directly from your pan. And here um, you can see, you will see the difference between my left uh, watercolor and my more expensive uh, Daniel Spiss watercolors, which really are more intense in color and they're really vibrant colors, which I really, really, really like. Um, so what you saw me doing at the beginning before I start talking about my watercolors might be also important is I put some glue on top of my watercolor paper, which by the way is not so thick. So it's thicker than the paper I usually would be choosing for doing a zine, but because I'm cheating, I'm not doing, to, I'm not going to do a proper zine. I'm going to do, um, uh, not a folded zine, but like, a, a binded zine. The paper can be a little bit thicker, but because it's going to be a little zine, I need to be able to fold it without too much issues. And that's why I, um, I've i chosen like a middleweight uh, watercolor paper so that I can fold it. Uh, on, your, on my left, you can see that I have my cheat pad or my notebook. I have like a notebook where I do some exercises where I grab ideas. So you can see here ideas I grabbed uh, from Instagram or uh, on the other page, I wrote words that mean a lot to me that I might want to use in my art journaling and I also did some faces some ugly faces admittedly but some faces to try things out to see what I like what I don't like um what what I could improve and because it's a notebook that is there for exercises you know everything goes and every uh, I'm allowed to make mistakes I think that is really really important for me and for um for you as a creator as well so um, here you see that I've waited for um, the paint to dry and I am copying. So I'm using my little micron pen uh, in 0.3 and in 0.5. And I'm using, I'm, I'm just creating some random shapes and marks and uh, plant-like shapes mostly because I wanted the theme really to, to be present, so the theme of nature. And uh, I write on top as well of the glue that you saw me put at the beginning. And now what you see me doing is I rub off um, the glue. And this is really great because it gives, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it's like a mask on top, uh, underneath my watercolor. And I really like that. The idea, I think, is from... Uh, um, Mary Robin Smith, as far as I remember, and um, because I liked it so much, I'm doing a second uh, round and a second layer, and because I'm not a very patient person, I'm going on top with uh, more watercolor without really waiting for everything to be dry, but that's me, that's me, and um you can see I have some very vibrant colors. This is really amazing. Watercolor usually when it it dries gets uh, paler, obviously, as you can see. If you remember how intense the colors were before, you can see that now the colors are not as intense. And I let the paint drip and I have this wonderful blue. And I've been too, it's blue, I guess. Um, 
I have been too generous with the paint and uh, that's why it's quite intense my blue here but that's okay so I'm using a pencil I'm using my microns and uh, micro microns and I am just painting away and creating plant like shapes on my little journal and you're probably asking yourself well how is this going to work uh because right now it doesn't look like like a design at all well i could in a, if it would be normal paper i would cut now in the middle and i would start folding like a little accordion but as i said i'm going to cheat and basically i am going to cut out two cut size um, pieces and i'm going to bind them together so that's what i'm going to do so it means i need to do both sides i'm not going to bore you with showing you how i'm doing the other side because obviously it's going to be the same it's the same principle only watercolors wor working with the glue uh make creating marks on top uh just creating a background it's just a different background that i'm creating i'm not using uh tissue paper which i could do because i love my tissue papers but this is really like having fun and enjoying being outside and being inspired um so what i also brought with me i don't know if you saw this in my little um in 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 my little uh carrier i have um i have some thread a black thread and a needle and basically i'm going to take my card side that i'm going to cut now because i brought my cutter with me uh because i wanted to have a neat cut so this is what you can see me doing now. I'm basically choosing the places I like best, uh, where I find that the background is nice, that I feel inspired using. So I'm cutting uh, two uh, postcard size uh, pages. So here is the first one, and I'm going to cut the yeah, I'm going to cut one part. And as soon as this is done. I will put my trimmer away and then realize that maybe I can use my trimmer for something else as well. Uh, but here I'm looking at both sides, still thinking what would make sense, what could be inspiring. Now I'm putting both pages together because actually a zine is consists of only eight little pages, and that's that means you need one two big a poster size. Um, Pages. So here you see me taking my trimmer and using the border to really um, fold. I didn't take my bone folder with me, so but I'm just folding it, making sure that uh, I'm using uh, the border to really fold it neatly. And now I'm looking for my thread and I'm just eyeballing it. Uh, I'm going through the middle. So you see here, I, this is something I did not record because I had my head on top of it. Um, I basically went through the middle and then back uh, about half an inch uh, to the top. I'm coming out, going back through the middle uh, and then through uh, the lower part again, half an inch at the bottom and then again through the center. And then I, I knot everything together and that's it. And it works perfectly. And I have my little eight pages that I was referring about. And now you see that I'm um, starting. So I have been working with the watercolor in between, trying to blend everything together to make people think it was always intended to be um, these double pages. And here I'm now doing uh, the, the top of my little uh, zine and I'm writing nature and... Uh, I'm continuing, you know, with with my pencil and with my pen, my chrome pen. I'm also using watercolors again to uh, to highlight some of the the forms I've created, so the nature forms. And uh, here you will see, as an example, because I will not bore you with all uh, eight pages, uh, how I created the middle uh, center pages. Basically, I took the existing forms and elaborated on them. You know, I took them as inspiration and I use a Micron 0.3 and a Micron 0.005. Uh, the 005 was for the thin lines, the 
the shading that I'm doing. And as you can see, it's very simple leaf forms, and it could also be uh, feathers if you if you think so, or flowers, or it, it's you know it's just your Im imagination. You make out of it whatever you want, and you can use whatever marks you you fancy that that suits suits you basically. Um, I'm ne next to the black. I have been using um, glitter gold and white um, uh, white gel pen uh, to create other marks basically and and highlight some of the forms. You know, for example, this is like a, a plant that I created, and I have also plants on the left. But I felt that this would not be enough, so. I went back and I've decided, uh, because the title of my little zine is uh, Nature, I've decided for each of the double page to write down uh, one of the elements and on the other side to have like a, a, a sign for the elements. But before I do this, I'm um, highlighting the plants I've created by re going back in with my plants, uh, with my watercolors and creating another layer and you can see this watercolor paper is probably not the best because somehow the paint is not being absorbed it is really weird it was really laying on top of my my paper and i i'm not sure why this is maybe this was just a mixed media and i i thought it it was um watercolor and uh, so i'm just playing around as you can see here uh, making sure I'm reusing the same colors throughout my zine to make it more coherent. You know the story, you've heard it before. And um, this is, I think, going to be the fire page. Um, let me see. Yes, this is, so I, I've waited for everything to be uh, dry. I have rubbed off uh, my. Um, my my uh, glue and now i've decided to write down what it is so i am now so this is my what uh, gel pen to add some more colors and i'm going to add uh here fire so the, the title of this double page and i'm going to uh, have a sign on the other side representing fire for the other two pages i really used instagram uh, elements that I found for water and air and here I created one for uh, fire because I only had one for snow and I didn't really feel f like s drawing anything like snow right now uh, it's very hot uh, even if I'm back in my studio by the way I'm sure you've noticed I'm not in nature anymore I was actually worried to see um uh, that it would rain and working with watercolors rain is not really your best friend so I I brought I, I, I finished my little zine inside and you can see I uh, have my thread still looking out so I'm going to cut this out and this is my little booklet I'm going to show you the details of the other pages uh, now um, so this is the one with air and the other one is um, water. And I really hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.